pistol called Last Stand. That's a 45 auto too, and it's got bonus critical damage and chance. There's two of them. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Jesus. See, I just thought there was just the one guy. Well, obviously, these... Oh, shit. These guys aren't helping me. Let's lead him down into the Mirelurk tunnel. Hey, be more careful. Maybe this guy will help, too. Okay, stop here for a second. I didn't realize my health was already down so low. So, uh, let's do the combat stim. Antiseptic and a bandage. And a solvitol. Alright. Let's go with the marine carbine and our 556 five, armor piercing. I oh, mean, we don't have very many of those, do we? Shit. Okay. Are they going to follow me down here? He might, he might help me. Wait a second. Where are those guys? Are they not, are they not coming? There. Do you have any more armor-piercing 5.56? Five, five, he doesn't. We already bought it all. Um, let's buy these, though. Close it. And what we can do is... Use this with this. Okay, so now we have armor piercing for the submachine gun, the carbine, and the um, pistol has the P ammo. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Aid. Hydra, Solvatol. Uh, military bandage. What is Medex? Strength, ignore negative effects, afterburner. Yeah, what the hell, we're already... Um, we're already... Addicted. God, we're gonna die. Okay. Uh, aid. We're just like loading up on the drugs right now. Okay, we're out of armor piercing for this. My health is... Oh, wait, am I losing health? Let's go back to here. Now it's coming back. 
Okay, it doesn't look like they will chase me down here. I'm going to go with the 10 millimeter submachine gun with the armory piercing rounds. We only have 15 though. Okay. It says caught. Oh, that's probably the Meyer work. These guys are absolutely dangerous, man. Talon combat armor. Oh, for Pete's sake, I'm done. Can't take me fucking anywhere, man. I'll tell you what. I forgot to put my normal armor on. No wonder I was getting hurt so much. You'd think I would know that by now, you know? Um... So, what we're going to do now, I there's still more of them. Okay, let's put that there. We'll go back to our 10 millimeter with the armor piercing rounds. Okay. Pack. Okay. We got one of them with our mind. Oh shit! Reload! Not good! Oh my god! Wow. If these guys would have caught me on the open, there is absolutely no way I would have survived that. That was fortuitous that they happened to come after us right as we left Seneca Station. Yeah. You got something to say? Oh, that scares me, man. That is downright frightening. Okay. Feel the views messed up. Thanks for your help, by the way, assholes. <sighs> okay. Step forward and identify yourself. Alright, we're just gonna sell all this Talon combat armor. It doesn't have any perks that come with it for one thing, and it's gonna be heavy, and we're not high enough level to repair it. Okay, do accept that. Police pistol. Police baton. Is that? Wait. Oh, and the Colt. Right. Okay, I was going to say. That's all the weapons we got off of them? Howdy. <sighs> okay. Um, let's take a look and see. We got Hydra withdrawal. We got... Minor ra radiation poisoning, which we already have. We have rad fleas. But at least our limbs are healing. And we have... So, okay, Solvatol is still active. Food and sleep are okay. That was tough. Let's take an antiseptic and a bandage. And, you know, we, we're, we have like half of our health pulled down because of the radiation. So we're going to have to get that fixed up you know, by the dock when we get back to Megaton. But I think we're back in a reasonable, a reasonable situation here. Let's change this back to normal 45 ammo for now. All right, I'm gonna, um, let's take a look at the map. I'm, 
uh, I'm basically going to kind of head down into this area and see if we can find a substation. Because that is, uh, no, that is northwest of Springvale. Dude, wait, wait, what are you doing? Never did anything to you. And you don't look like a bandit. I'm hit. What the fuck did you attack me for? I wasn't doing anything to you. Uh, I'm not even gonna loot that shit. These guys have worthless crap. They weren't wearing... Uh, Raider clothes, so I... I don't know why they're attacking me. Found you. He's... is he dead? Or just, yeah, I guess he's dead. I only have nine rounds left. Okay. This pistol is kind of expensive to be using, so I think we are going to keep our 10 millimeter pistol with us as well. At least until we can, you know, start making our own 45s. Well, for whatever reason, these wastelanders have chosen to make themselves our enemies. So if that's the case, <laughs> right when I was ready to squeeze the trigger. That's uh, not going to go well for them. Oh, I see a substation. Nice. Okay. That's probably where we need to go. Hey. Where? Take all that stuff for sure. These guys are hardly worth wasting ammo on, to be honest, but... I'd rather take care of them now, so when we come back through later. Flamer fuel flare gun and empty canisters. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that stuff. I've got a bunch of Nuka-Cola, empty Nuka-Cola. Okay, I don't know if this shack is actually abandoned or not. Here we go. Ugh. Yeah, it's abandoned, all right. Another combat shotgun. Nice. Laser rifle. I'm just looking to see if there's any freaking landmines on the floor in here. Nice. Look at all that 20 gauge. Can't open that. There's a fat boy, or a mini nuke, I should say. Duck and cover. Is that a, um, I can't remember. Is that a permanent skill point? It is, nice. Two points permanent for explosives. So this was actually the prize for this place. A pistol called Last Stand. That's a 45 auto too, and it's got bonus critical damage and chance. There's two of them. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Here, let's go outside where we can see. No, 
No, these are... These are different weapons. Okay, that's snake lore. Well, that's interesting. This one, the one on the right appears to have a um, a laser sight on it. I like it. Okay, well, we'll have to we'll have to get those fixed up. So yeah, that definitely made it worth it to come in here and clear this place out. But the main reason I did it until before I knew that was just to clear it. So if we come back through here again, we're not getting attacked, you know, and XP and all that. Okay, we spotted a substation over here through our scope. Uh, let's see, where was that? I think it was more down over here. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. I'll bet you that's where we need to go. Let's do it. Rad Scorpion and... Oh, that's probably a Yao Guai. All right, let's let them duke it out. I don't want to mess with either one of them. There's another Yao Guai right there, too. Well, the Yao Guai eliminated the Rad Scorpion. See, we're getting further out away from the starter zone, so we're seeing more dangerous enemies now. I would go investigate that place, but not with the Yao Guai right there. Forget it. Ain't gonna happen, baby. Let's stay stealthy. Since we know there's rad scorpions and yao guais in the area. Hmm. Well, there are raiders at this substation. Let's take a look at where we are on the map. Well, we are definitely northwest. of Springvale. A long ways northwest of Springvale. Let's see if we can do a little bit of sniping. You've discovered MDPL mass relay station. I don't think this is where we're supposed to be. I think that's all of them. I just saw what looked like a substation and figured maybe this was it, but I figured wrong. A fresh pear. Take the dirty water. Turpentine. Um, I think I'm going to leave that stuff. A defense submachine gun. Shotgun rounds, some jet. Oh, a doctor's bag. Nice. That's that's good to have. Combat knife. Eh, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna keep looking. Oh, we have a caution. Why do we have a caution? Probably from the mantis there. All right, let's just leave him. Leave him be. Or not. Okay. 
Okay, we only have four more rounds for this of normal. Some iron work over there. And then we'll have to... Oh, he doesn't even have anything. Dude, what the hell? Then, we're, then I'm going to switch this back to the P-Ammo, but I think I'm going to go back to the 10 mil for just easy, easy peasy enemies. All right, guys, I am, uh, first of all, uh, just so you know, I actually had to leave in real life uh, in the next day in real life uh, for me. Uh, so the last thing we did was we, we cleared out this substation. And I got to thinking that... It's a bit unrealistic of me um, to be carrying multiple sets of armor around and also allowing myself to get massively over encumbered. For one thing, it's dangerous as, you know, as I'll get out out here uh, with Yao Guai and Rad Scorpions around. So what I'm going to start to do moving forward, just to be a little more realistic and a little more practical, is um, I'm not, I, I'm not going to let myself get you know, massively over encumbered, <clears throat> especially if I'm way, way out in dangerous territory like this. If I'm walking from the garage to Megaton to sell a bunch of stuff that's already at the base, that's one thing. But right now it's just really, really dangerous for us to be encumbered. Um, and <clears throat> so what I'm going to try and do is, is, is keep this um, you know, under 275, and once we, we're, we're approaching 275, we either have to toss stuff out that has a, a poor value-to-weight ratio, um, or, or or we're done for that session and we go home and sell stuff or store stuff. Okay, so yeah, I just I wanted to be a little more real reasonable and realistic about that. So all of this stuff, most of this stuff that I threw out on the ground here is... It's really heavy and it has a, a, you know, not a very good value to weight ratio, uh, basically. Um, so, so now we are uh, at 269 of 275. Uh, the other thing that I did too was uh, I actually went into the mod configuration menu and was able to make it so that I can, you know, sprint and then just walk fast without having to press two separate buttons like I was before. So that's going to also help uh, as well. Okay, so. Um, and then I, I set this weapon wheel up to automatically populate with our best weapons. Um, I couldn't figure out how to assign the weapons directly. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I, I still couldn't figure out exactly how I was supposed to do that. So Anyway, all right, so what we're going to do, we got that Yao Guai over there. I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna start working our way back to the east. I mean, we could we could go further south, but I, I just, I feel like if we go further south, we're not going to really be, I mean, because we're almost about as northwest as you can get, you know, from Springvale. Um, you know, and it could be a little further south, but I've kind of already looked around this area and I ha I don't see a substation anywhere near there. We haven't really been up in this area so I think I, I set my marker up you know in that direction. This is um, let's see that's Germantown big town Arafu. So I'm, I'm going to kind of start moving my you know working back this direction and maybe kind of searching around in here. Even that might be a little too far north. Hamilton's Hideaway. Moonbeam Outdoor Cinema. Big town. But yeah, let's um let's actually move towards more towards Big Town and just see if we can spot something going that direction. Uh, which is gonna be over here. Okay, let's get moving. You know, having the, the radiation heal our limbs like it can is certainly handy, but we have too much of it now. Plus, the other thing, too, we look at our, our stats. Um, I 
Yeah, we, we're losing two endurance, which affects our health by having in the having the rad poisoning. So it really is, you know, it's it's, it's not a super good trade off because we we've not only lost health cap, but we've just lost over a health overall health altogether so um you know this isn't something that we really should be sporting around here at this point okay so uh there was supposed to be oh okay Right. Um, this was the other thing I want to show you. So if I go to the general tab, we're on stats and then general, and then click this, then that shows me my, my reputation. And it shows, you know, that we are currently a good aligned character, which we want to stay because we get the extra advantage from our ideologue uh, perk. So figured that out too. Okay. Anyway, let's move on here. We want to be on the lookout for rad scorpions and... Yao go eyes like that guy down that way. But it's nice to be able to, to move without being encumbered and then running out of action points. Because if we run out of action points and we're being chased by... Oh. That looks like a traitor. Chased by a Yao go eye, then that could kill us. I'm almost positive that's a traitor. This is mine. I found it, and you can't have it. E okay. That doesn't mean you're going to shoot me, does it? I'm not looking for trouble, but if you don't back off, I'm not afraid to defend what's mine. Okay, okay, let's let's Look just talk. What we have here. Dude, what the f fuck? I just wanted to talk. Bring it. Unbelievable. What has the world come to? All right, let's do one of those, one of those, one of those, and I think I must have bled out. All right, guys, I am, uh, first of all, uh, just so you know, I actually had to leave in real life, uh, in the next day in real life uh, for me. Uh, so the last thing we did was we, we cleared out this substation. And I got to thinking that it's a bit unrealistic of me um, to be carrying multiple sets of armor around and also allowing myself to get massively over encumbered. For one thing, it's dangerous as, you know, as I'll get out out here uh, with Yaguai and Rad Scorpions around. So what I'm going to start to do moving forward, just to be a little more realistic and a little more practical, is... Um, I'm not I, I'm not going to let myself get, you know, massively over encumbered, <clears throat> especially if I'm way, way out in dangerous territory like this. If I'm walking from the garage to Megaton to sell a bunch of stuff that's already at the base, that's one thing. But right now it's just really, really dangerous for us to be encumbered. Um, and <clears throat> so what I'm going to try and do is 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 keep this. Um, you know, under 275, and once we, we're, we're approaching 275, we either have to toss stuff out that has a, a poor value-to-weight ratio, um, or, or or we're done for that session and we go home and sell stuff or store stuff. Okay, so yeah, I just I wanted to be a little more real reasonable and realistic about that. So all of this stuff, most of this stuff that I threw out on the ground here is... It's really heavy and it has a, a, you know, not a very good value to weight ratio, uh, basically. Um, so, so now we are uh, at 269 of 275. Uh, the other thing that I did too was uh, I actually went into the mod configuration menu and was able to make it so that I can, you know, sprint and then just walk fast without having to press two separate buttons like I was before. So that's going to also help uh, as well. Okay, so. Um, and then I, I set this weapon wheel up to automatically populate with our best weapons. Um, I couldn't figure out how to assign the weapons directly. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I, I still couldn't figure out exactly how I was supposed to do that. So, 
Anyway, all right. So what we're going to do, we got that Yao Guai over there. I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to start working our way back to the east. I mean, we could we could go further south, but I I just I feel like if we go further south, we're not going to really be I mean, cuz we're almost about as northwest as you can get, you know, from Springvale. Um, you know, and it could be a little further south, but I've kind of already looked around this area and I ha I don't see a substation anywhere near there. We haven't really been up in this area, so I think I, I set my marker up, you know, in that direction. This is um let's see, that's Germantown. Big town. Arafu. So I'm I'm gonna kinda start moving my you know, working back this direction and maybe kind of searching around in here. Even that might be a little too far north. Hamilton's Hideaway. Moonbeam Outdoor Cinema. Big town. But yeah, let's um let's actually move towards more towards Big Town and just see if we can spot something going that direction. Uh, which is gonna be over here. Okay, let's get moving. You know, having the, the radiation heal our limbs like it can is certainly handy, but we have too much of it now. Plus, the other thing, too, we look at our, our stats. Um, yeah, we, we're losing two endurance, which affects our health by having in the having the rad poisoning. So it really is, you know, it's it's, it's not a super good trade-off because we, we've not only lost health cap but we've just lost over a he overall health altogether so um you know this isn't something that we really should be sporting around here at this point okay so uh there was supposed to be Oh, okay. Right. Um, this was the other thing I want to show you. So if I go to the general tab, we're on stats and then general, and then click this, then that shows me my, my reputation. And it shows, you know, that we are currently a good aligned character, which we want to stay because we get the extra advantage from our ideologue uh, perk. So figured that out too. Okay. Anyway, let's move on here. We want to be on the lookout for rad scorpions and... Yeah, Yao Guai's like that guy down that way. But it's nice to be able to, to move without being encumbered and then running out of action points. Because if we run out of action points and we're being chased by... Oh, that looks like a traitor. Chased by a Yao Guai, then that could kill us. I'm almost positive that's a traitor. This is mine. I found it, and you can't have it. E okay. That doesn't mean you're going to shoot me, does it? I'm not looking for trouble, but if you don't back off, I'm not afraid to defend what's mine. Okay, okay, let's let's just Look talk. What we have here. Dude, what the f fuck? I just wanted to talk. Bring it. Unbelievable. What has the world come to? All right, let's do one of those, one of those, one of those, and I think I must have bled out. I had a premonition <laughs> that we were walking through here, and we ran across a guy that looked like a traitor, but he turned out to be an asshole and, and shot us. So because we had that premonition, we're going to uh, do things a little bit different this time. Oh, he's, uh, he's got a Yao Guai with him. Uh, all right, let's, the Yao Guai is not, 
in the best of shape, but... Okay, let's just avoid those guys, if we can. That... Did... Wait, didn't we kill that guy? Because that's Arafu right there. That's Seneca Station. We came through here several episodes ago and we killed that guy and looted stuff. So did they just repop? I guess they re I guess shit repops. Hmm. You know, here's the thing though. I mean, I've been th I've been through this area. And even just looking from here, I'm not really seeing a substation. I'm curious though if if enemies repop, does the loot also repop? Maybe we should try and kill this guy and just, you know, for science and see what happens. Oh, wow. We did a shit ton of damage to him. He's almost dead. He doesn't even know where we are either. All right. Something. Oh shit, rat scorpion. All right, let's just run. See, the thing about them is you can't, you need armor piercing ammo to kill them. Yeah, see, this is all empty. Okay, well that answers that question then. All right, let's uh, let's just run away from the rat scorpion because I really don't want to use my armor piercing ammo against him. I just don't have that much of it. Is that a, is that a substation? Now what? Oh, just you, just you, little fucker. It looks like there's maybe something here. Oh, there's somebody in there. You no longer feel sick. Okay, I'll take that. What do you think you're doing? Are you are you going to attack me? You're not with those other ghouls that attacked me, are you? They're... Yeah, they're showing up red. But he's not firing at me. What has he got, like a nail gun or something? I guess that's just their hideout. Alright, let's leave them alone. As long as they leave me alone, I'll leave them alone. Those guys aren't too terribly difficult to kill with this cowboy repeater. I don't suppose there's a bed in Arafu we could sleep in, is there? We want scrap electronics because we can make our own repair kits when I get a high enough skill as one of the several ingredients. We can take those without stealing. That's a beautiful thing. There, you're you're the crazy lady. You're the crazy lady's kind of asshole huh? husband. Don't mind Brayley. She's in. Well, all I can do is. That's usually because Brayley. Yeah, he's got shit repair service. I'm glad I was wrong about you. Welcome back. Hey, can I borrow a bed in your house? There are. 
Oh yeah, she already told me Don't. that. I doubt it'll let me to do that. Is Evan home? This is a crazy guy's house. Oh, we can't sleep here. Okay. So if I sleep in your house, you're not going to like go all va vampire on me, are you? I knew you couldn't stay away. What's that supposed to mean? Thanks for setting me straight on everything. You're welcome. Um, I'm going to sleep in your house and I want you to keep your fangs to yourself. Okay. If you do go vampire on me, I'll wake up and kill you. Okay. Thanks. Glad we have that understanding. Sounds good. Come back and visit me sometime. Well, tell me that in the morning after I leave. Okay. Here we go. 11.09 uh, p.m. Let's sleep till 7. Good boy. I knew you couldn't stay away. Uh, quit saying that. You're freaking me out. We still can't get into Evan's house. Okay, with a little bit of luck, maybe a trader showed up overnight. If not, then we're going to have to ditch something because we're too damn heavy. That kind of... Uh, there's something down there. I think that is a trader. Change the wasteland with every Good to see you. Crow. Keep it on the level and everything will be fine. Looking for that special something. Your eyes are all screwed up too. Damn it. I tried to fix that by installing a different male uh, body replacer mod, but it doesn't look like it fixed the issue. So I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, the females are fine, but they're the male faces have all these white spots on them. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay. Um, what is your repair skill? Yeah. 62. Okay, that's not too bad. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh, let's sell first. If the clothes, if the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Oh, are you? Oh, he's, okay, so he's like a, uh, an armor vendor. That's cool. This stuff is not really in the best of shape, though. Okay, so, um, let's sell whiskey. The Blast Master Armor and... I don't know if... I, I want to hang on to this for the plus 10 explosives. I just don't know if I have one back at the garage or not so i'm gonna hang on to that just in case i'm not real f a real fan of this nuka cola dark because it makes us thirsty so let's sell that oh i forgot to put this on okay here just hold on cancel transaction stay safe i always forget to put that on. morning uh personal space guys here to acquire here to buy have a look or see if anything more specifically out. sell we'll sell you whiskey nuka cola i'm going to keep the helmet just in case uh, you can have the pre-war money okay well that lightens us up a little bit uh what does this do strength ignore name mm. I, we might want to hang on to stuff like that in case we run into more Talon mercenaries trying to kill us, which I'm sure we will. You know that's going to happen. A Braxo cleaner is really heavy. Cart. Oh, wow. Carton of cigarettes is really heavy, but that also has a really good value to weight ratio. It's used to craft something. But let's sell two of those to him. Okay, he has 76 caps now. That is a really good value to weight ratio. M4 
empty soda bottles have terrible value to weight ratio, so let's sell those to him. Mantis four legs have no weight at all. Okay. So do you okay, do you sell anything besides armor? Just this aid stuff. Okay. Well, hey, at least that lightened us Another up a bit. Satisfied. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. Um, do we see any substations anywhere around here? Get up a little higher. I mean, that... That's not really a substation. That's just where those ghouls were hanging out. Oh. What's that over there? That that looks like it might be a building. Wasn't that thing with some Brotherhood of Steel soldiers last time we saw it? Guy's not hostile. I'm afraid I'm quite good. Oh shit! He's hostile. Oh, he's hostile too. Okay, let's go back uh, over this way and see if we can get some assistance from the caravan guard. <laughs> so the last time I saw one of them brain bot things, they were with some. Brotherhood you soldiers. Want to change the wasteland with every hey, don't duck and run. Shoot. That's what you're here for. What kind of caravan guard are you? Get your ass back here and shoot that thing. <laughs> Opening fire. <coughs> there you go. That thing kills her. We'll we'll pull pull it up towards Evan. Damn. And speaking of which, I should probably take an antiseptic and a bandage at least. I mean, I can can try and shoot at it, but when the armor thing shows up, it doesn't hardly do jack shit to it. Oh, look at that. The mole rat's attacking it. And the enclave robot. Nice. Okay. Good what to about... See you. Yeah, you too. Good good work there. What about that uh, brain bot? Did he follow us over here too? Oh, there he is, right there. <laughs> He's pretty tough. To the next level. What? Uh, what's going on over here? Oh. You guys want to help me with the brain bot, please? You're still crow, right? He's going, yeah, I'm still crow. I never stopped being crow. I just didn't know if that was a new... Oh, nice. Okay. Good job, Mole Rat. I have to remember that those things are good allies to have.
Uh, we definitely want the scrap electronics, and I think we'll take the energy cells. Yeah, we can take all that without getting overweight. Okay. That could be a substation over there. Let's go check that out. Take that, but that'll be one of the first things to go if we get overweight again. All oh, right, we got to bring the fuses back. I hope those don't weigh too much. Those are Brahmin as well. I think this is the place. Um, VAPL 58 Power Station. Bad bads in here. We've got to be careful on what we load up on. Oh, we're definitely going to take that stuff. What's this? Fixer? Sugar bombs. Yeah, it weighs a whole pound. Let's take the fixer. I think drugs in general are pretty good value to weight ratio. Dean's Electronics. What does that do? Oh, nice. Permanent repair. Plus two. We'll take that. That's beautiful. Yeah, we want scrap electronics for sure. Uh, all this is very hard. That's heavy, so we can't take that thingy. Uh, I would like the duct tape, though. It weighs a pound, but duct tape is very, very important. It always is in these games. <clears throat> we'll take the duct tape. We'll take the bandage. And we need wrenches for repair kits. Okay, that just got us overweight, so we're going to have to have a come-to-Jesus meeting here in a second. The other thing we could do, too, is we could actually leave some stuff here and come back for it. A steam gauge assembly? Alright, I want the wrench. I want the bottle cap mine. The scrap electronics. Nuka Cola. Ultra stim, nice. Not taking a crutch. Alright. So, where, are we, where do we find these fuses at? These kind of look like fuses. A baseball glove? A stealth boy! We're taking that! Very nice. You know, i got to remember that I have a stealth boy in case we get into a bad scrape again. What's this over here? Industrial fuses. That's what we need. Oh, nice. Okay. We found them. Install the replacement fuses and restore the main power. Beautiful. Okay, so, yeah, we are a bit overweight here. Um, I mean, th this thing is really heavy, but it's a combat shotgun, which apparently has more DPS than my normal shotgun, which doesn't make any sense at all, unless it has a faster fire rate. So I want to hang on to this so we can fix it up later. So we're not getting rid of that, even though we should. The single shotgun is worth 30 caps, and it is 7 pounds. I think we could probably drop that. And that gets us right at 275. It just means we can't loot anything on the way home. Not getting rid of any of this. Here, we can drink a Nuka Cola. Okay, that gave us a pound back. Whoops. Rad scorpion egg? That's worth five caps. It's got a low value to weight ratio. Let's get rid of that. Okay, that gives us three pounds. <laughs> Damn, that thing's big. 
Okay. Let's take a a bandage to get our health back up as high as it can. And, you know, we can always come back here later and grab some of this other stuff if we want to. None of it's, like, super, super duper valuable. And let's head on back home. All right, guys, we are back at the barn with the Yao Guai trader. Uh, oh, there she is. Yeah. Oh. Ye uh, you're different. The last time I was here, there was a woman here. What's your repair skill? Let me take a. Terrible. If the price. Okay, he's got 148 caps. Um, I'm gonna sell him the mini nuke. I forgot I even had that sucker. I think it's so heavy. He can have all of the spoiled pre-war food. Guess we don't need to hang on to sugar bombs anymore. You can have the Mauser. Home sweet home. All right. So, um, I think we need to go downstairs and put the fuses in here. Industrial fuses removed. And then activate the power. Hey, look at that. Completed, installed, replace the fuse and restore power. Check the water supply. All right. Uh, is this open now? It is. Activate irrigation control. The water supply must be restored before this works. Activate lights. Hey, we got lights at least. All right, look at this. Eventually, we'll be able to grow crops and stuff in here. I think. Oh, this is neat. I love it. Activation. Uh, activate pump and filtration control. The old water valves have been removed, but the pump needs replacement valves before it can work again. Okay, so it looks like that's our next quest uh, to keep working on getting our base set up. Oh, that's neat, though. <laughs> okay. Um. Now, we should have lights up here, too, right? What's that do? Activate door controls. Oh! Okay. That's interesting. Huh. Hey, we got lights. Wait, did this one turn on or off? Must have turned it off. Here, let's turn our pit boy light off. This is great. Okay, those lights aren't as bright. That doesn't seem to do it. Oh. Okay. All right. Very cool. That turns on lights over our workbench. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, uh, we're going to wrap up this episode here, and then uh, what I'm going to do is put stuff away. I'm going to run into Megaton and have the dock fix me up. Um, we don't really have a whole lot of stuff that I want to sell, if anything. Um, so I'm, I, I, I'm just going to put that stuff away and then let, before I let you go though, I want to keep working on getting this base set up. So if we go to miscellaneous and we look at, um, let's see, Hacksaw's journal entry. Okay. So one of these says something about... The water pump thingies. Okay, here we go. Industrial high pressure valves are harder. That would have to be from some place that dealt with the old city's water grid. The trader mentioned there was a sewer waste station nearby that I could try, but he wouldn't tell me more without caps. 
I need storage to super duper more. Okay. Um, so it looks like we need to go into the city to a sewer way station. And I think if I remember right from a while back, I think if you go, oh, is that, oh, it's, it's actually leading us there. Um, find replacement belts. Oh, no, it's leading us here. Okay. That must be from something else then. <laughs> I guess that's where we got to go. Okay. So that's the plan for the next episode. And it'll also be our first foray um, into the city or at least the outskirts of the city. Um, so looking forward to it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.